I'm going to trace out a plastic drawer guide and convert this file to a 3D file. In Logic Trace, the first thing I'm going to do here is set up the four points of the diagram. This will define the four outer corners of the diagram on the drawing board. I'm going to start tracing out the outer perimeter of the diagram. We'll start with the trace command and then move over to the line command. These draw guides are very small, about two and a half inches across, so I blew up the diagram to trace it out, and when I'm finished with this file, I'll shrink it back to the actual size. When I say I want to convert this DXF file into a 3D file, all I want is I want this file, this image, to be about a quarter inch thick. And because of that thickness, it becomes a 3D file, and to print this in a 3D printer, you have to have a 3D file, which is the STL format. You can see here I'm using the circle command. You just touch three points and the computer echoes back the diameter and I corrected that to 0.25. I even marked it on a diagram there, quarter inch hole. Now I'm going to take that finished DXF file, which I traced out, I'm going to load that file into Vetric Aspire, and here's where I'm going to convert it to an STL or a 3D file, just by adding some thickness to it. From here, that file will be loaded into the 3D printer software. Shown here, I've set up the printer for that file, and I went through the simulation just to see how it's going to look. It looks okay. Printer software generates a G-code and also gives you the time it's going to take to print. The print starts off by creating a rafting, which is the bottom base of the print. This is necessary so the print won't move around while it's on the printer base. I guess you could say it's like a hold down. Once the base is all finished, the rafting, now you can see what the print is actually starting to form. Once the print is complete, I'll take it off the bed, scrape it off the bed, and remove that backing. This is a shot of the printer I used. And this is the finished printed part. I wanted to show the equipment I used to trace out this diagram. I'm using the small portable drawing board. It's 12 by 18 inches. You can see here I've got the diagram fastened to the board. The reason I printed this drawer guide is because it's very difficult to buy. 